for this video, we're gonna be discussing finding limit of a function. But before that, let's have a short introduction regarding limit. In studying calculus, the first important concept or idea that must be introduced is the concept of limit. The limit of a function is the cornerstone of both differential and integral calculus. The limit is also one of the fundamental ideas that distinguishes calculus from other areas of mathematics such as algebra or trigonometry. Let's have this. We can read this as the limit of the function f of x as x approaches a. And from here, we should remember that this can be defined throughout an open interval, where x contains all real numbers but not necessarily equal to a. Let's have our first example. Evaluate the limit of the function x plus 3 as x approaches 2. The first thing that we need to do is to set values for x. Let's have our table of values. We can see the values of x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 1.99, 1 1.999, 2, 2.001, 2.01, at 3. Here, we just need to substitute the values of x to obtain the values of y, or f of x. First, if we're going to substitute negative 2 to our function, the value is 1. If x is negative 1, the function is 2. If x is 0, the value of the function is 3. If x is 1.99, the value of the function is 4.99. If x is 1.999, the value of the function is 4.999. If x is 2, the function is 5. If x is 2.001, the function is 5.001. If x is 2.01, the function is 5.01. And if x is 3, the function is 6. Dito makikita natin na habang papalapit ng papalapit ang values ng x natin sa 2 from left side and from right side, papalapit naman na papalapit yung values ng ating function sa 5. And we will discuss here the one-sided limits. The first one-sided limit is the limit of the function x plus 3 as x approaches 2. Makikita natin dito na may negative this indicates that x approaches 2 from values less than 2. At saan natin siya makikita sa table of values? Here. So, yung nasa left side ng ating 2. Then, the other one-sided limit is the limit of the function x plus 3 as x approaches 2. As you can see, there is a positive exponent here and it indicates that x approaches 2 from values greater than 2. So, dito naman natin siya makikita. Dito makikita natin na ang values ng ating function ay papalapit ng papalapit sa 5. Habang ang x natin ay papalapit ng papalapit sa 2. And in evaluating the limits from both sides, the limit of the function x plus 3 as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to 5. Also, the limit of the function x plus 3 as x approaches 2 from the right side or greater than 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, the limit of our function x plus 3 as x approaches 2 is 5. Let's have our second example. Evaluate the limit of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. In this example, malinaw na makikita natin na ang function will be undefined if x is equal to 1. Therefore, the function does not exist. Let's try the direct substitution. We have the limit 
of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So by substitution, we have 1 squared minus 1 all over 1 minus 1. So we have 0 over 0, and this is undefined. Nevertheless, the function has a limit as x approaches 1. We can simplify the function by factoring the numerator. So we have the limit of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. Then let's have the factors of our numerator, which are x plus 1 and x minus 1. And from here, we can cancel x minus 1 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator. At yung remaining niya ay yung x plus 1 na lang. Then evaluating the limit, we have 1 plus 1 and the limit is 2. So undefined yung ating function but still it has the limit of 2. So kung titingnan natin siya sa ating graph, ito siya. So it has a hole because if x is 1, the function is undefined. But still it has a limit. Let's have our third example. Evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 when f of x is defined as this kind of function. So this is a piecewise function which has two parts. The first part is when x is less than 0, the function f of x is x squared plus 4. And the other part is when x is greater than or equal to 0, the function is square root of x. Let's examine the one-sided limit. Umpisahan muna natin dito sa part na when x is less than 0. So since it is less than 0, it is from the left. Okay? So let's have the limit of x squared plus 4 as x approaches 0. So by substitution, we have 0 squared plus 4. It is equal to 4. Then the other part of our piecewise function, that is when x is greater than or equal to 0, we have this. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the right side or greater than 0. So it is the limit of square root of x as x approaches 0. 0. Then by substitution, we have square root of 0. The answer is 0. And here, if the one-sided limits are different, the limit does not exist. So the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. So kung titingnan natin siya sa graph, ito ang graph ng ating piecewise function. This part is when x is less than 0, the function is x squared plus 4. And this part, when x is greater than or equal to 0, the function is square root of x. As you can see, we have an open that here because we have less than 0. We have a solid that here because it is greater than or equal to 0. And this is how the graph of a function looks like if the limit does not exist. As you can see, there is a gap here. They are not connected. And this is the end of our video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.